Hello, my name is Kain Son the Genius, as you know, and today we are going to start from the first part in the series of Selenium tutorials. And Selenium, as you know, is an automation test tool that is very, very easy to use. Some persons have asked me questions like, uh, they are not able to set up Selenium in Firefox, but we are going to solve this problem at this time. I recorded this video in February 2018. So let's take a step by step of what we are going to do. Step one, set up Selenium in Firefox. Set up Selenium here in Firefox. Now, whatever uh, the version of Firefox you are using, uh, we can set it up. But we assume you are using the latest version of Firefox. Step two. Step two will be record a test uh, case or a test scripts. In my blog I already explained the difference between test case, test scripts and a test plan. If it's not clear to you just leave a comment to let me know. I'll also give you an answer. Step 3 uh, Step 3 after recording then the next thing to do is export the test script as C sharp. Okay, so I will export it as C sharp. Or let's uh, leave this as step four. Step three run the test script. Okay, so step five, uh, import, import the test script to Visual Studio because we are going to use it in Visual Studio and we are going to work with C sharp. Step six. Uh, step 6 will be compile and run compile and run the test script ok so I would like you to make sure you follow along in these 6 steps as that will be uh, make it very clear to you and then the last step step 7 test Sorry, um, edit the test script. So the last step is going to need a little knowledge of uh, coding in C sharp, but I assure you it will not be difficult. Now let's go to Firefox. Let's now take let's now take uh, step one. Step one. Let me mark it green so that we we'll know that that is what we are currently working on. So let me mark it to be, uh, okay, this is where we are, set up Selenium in Firefox. Now if you go to Selenium, Selenium uh, plugin for Firefox and we see this uh, add-on for Firefox you find out that it will not work because at some point the latest version of Firefox is no longer supported. At some point I tried to even downgrade my Firefox to a lower version but it still did not work. So you can see if we can't even add it. So Selenium has produced another plugin uh, called Catalon. So that Catalon can actually work in uh, Selenium in Firefox, uh, the most recent version. So let's call, let's say Selenium Catalon plugin. So at this point, you can see. Um, that, let's say Catalon plugin Firefox. Okay, so that we can. Okay, so at this point, you have Catalon recorder, Selenium IDE for Firefox 55. Uh, and above. So that is 
the version of uh, selenium that it's actually going to work at this time so at this point you just click on add to firefox and it takes some time to download this plugin and it adds to firefox in a few seconds so although i've added it i'm repeating the process so that you know uh, that it's already been added so for your case just go ahead and click ok so at this point if we close and then reopen firefox again then we see that you can see this is selenium so at this point it's been added to firefox you can also follow the same step for google chrome if you are using google chrome but for now let's focus on using it for firefox all right so if we open uh, uh, the, the selenium tatalon then we see this now I have already done something before so I'm going to just um, say new okay so it's, it's saying give a name so you just give it a name let's call it my test case so we are going to record a new test case we see there is one test case here and I'm going to remove in case there is something that you need to remove now this one you have untitled test suite okay now a test suite is a collection of test cases a test suite is not the same as a test plan a test plan is a document that details the strategy that is going to apply to be applied in carrying out a test for a project so a test plan is a document that details the strategy the objectives the criteria and and other details but a test suite is simply a collection of test cases so while we name this test case uh, my test case we can also just uh, rename this test suite to my test suite what it means is that if we record uh, a number of uh, test cases they will be under this test suite alright so play around a little and in the next part we actually go ahead to start doing uh, uh, we, we start recording using selenium i'd like to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe and move on to part 2